what would an F2 car be like with F1 engines? So somehow I've not done this mod before, then I've done an ERS mod before, where I've given an F2 car uh, ERS system, but I've not done a full engine mod where we literally take a Mercedes engine, put it in an F2 car, and go out and track and see how it is. I don't know how I haven't done this before, but here we are anyway. Do subscribe as well if you like this kind of video. So literally what I've done is I have literally copied and pasted the file so that the engine will sound pretty much the same uh, and be the exact same spec, but everything else is still F2 spec. So the brakes, the downforce level, the weight, everything else is still exactly as it is in F2 apart from the engine. So let's get on track then at the Red Bull Ring and see how this thing handles. Right, here we go then. Out on track here, you can see here it does sound like a Mercedes engine, as uh, as I hoped. So I've not driven this thing yet, and unfortunately the, it's not possible to adjust the uh, the uh, rev meter at the bottom there. That'll always be looking. Also, there's a, still a turbo noise for some reason in the background. Right, here we go then. Let's get going here. So again, downforce level is the same. Brakes, brakes the same. The brakes are pretty awful with a normal engine. So let's break it at 100. I mean, <laughs> there's nowhere near getting that stopped in time. Opening DRS, of course. Still DRS on these... F2 cars up through the gears here. Coming up to turn is officially turn three. Now, where do we break for here? 120 meters. That was about right. These braking zones, that's going to be the biggest difference, actually. Traction feels a lot better. Of course, the F2 cars, particularly this game, this is the 2020 F2 cars, by the way. They've not released the 2021 F2 cars this game. I'm going to break at the F1 point just to see. Oh, God. We actually go a bit faster in a straight line as well because. Uh, because these, uh, these these cars have not got much drag. They've got, of course, quite a lot less downforce than a Formula 1 cars. They've also got less drag. When you're in the corners, they just feel like an F2 car. They sort of feel all right. Force feedback all feels kind of what, what you're used to in a normal F2 car. But then it's when you get to the exits, well, the traction's actually easier. Of course, F1 engines have got a really smooth traction curve. The F2 cars have got quite a lot of turbo lag. But the brakes are definitely the biggest thing to adjust to. Because not only are the brakes bad to begin with on an F2 car. Oh, but we're going so much faster in a straight line. Off the track there, doesn't matter, open DRS here, it is indeed open. Right, what sort of speed do we hit down here then? We break a bit early here as well, 320, break a little bit early, not too much earlier. That's nice, that's nice, got that one stopped well. Right, come on, let's see what speed we can do down this straight then. Probably the longest one on the uh, Red Bull Ring circuit, I'd suggest. Yes indeed, 320, 330, I want to touch 330 before I hit the brakes. We're getting used to this now, as you can see, we'll actually be able to get it stopped somewhat. DRS once again. Let's see if we can actually do a clean lap here then. Although this lap is technically invalid. Whatever. We'll pretend we, that didn't happen. Just to see what sort of lap times we can get. Oh god. A little bit deep there. A little bit worse. Definitely the rear tyres feel like they've got less grip than in F1. That's obviously not a surprise. But uh, definitely the traction is not as easy as in F1 with the exact same power unit. I will say as well, although you don't see the ERS charge stuff on the UI or the F2 car, it is there. The ERS is there. It is. It is giving us some boost. Unfortunately, we're just not able to see it. It's a bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Can it stop fairly well? I'll tell you what, this has been the cleanest lap I can do without much practice. A little bit deeper there. They're already getting used to this now. Off track once again in the final turn. DRS for the run to the line give us, gives us a 1 minute 10.7. I'll tell you what, let's now do a side-by-side -side comparison of the F2 car with the F1 engine and the F2 car with its normal F2 engine. Here we go then, we've got the F2 car on the left hand side with a normal F2 engine as you can see by the much much longer gears. On the right hand side we've got the F2 car with the Mercedes F1 engine. So coming to turn 1 and you can already see quite significantly far ahead, already what I'd say about half a second or so ahead at the apex of turn 1 just from one straight. I sit them up as they cross the start finish line by the way so we can keep an eye on that. Up for the gears of course, 8 gears in the Formula 1 car or the Formula 1 uh, powertrain on the right hand side, only 6 on the left. About 320k I think it was but only 290k. Also, I think, actually, I think it's more like 330k on the right hand side. So about 40 kilometers an hour different as we hit the brakes. So DRS open once again then for the run down to what is really turn three, but I think it's officially turn four. These laps are actually quite similar, uh, apart from the straight line speed, of course. So the main time limit you're going to see is going to be straight line speed. Some uh, corner performance, they're obviously the same car. Also, I've put in a, quite a similar performance. And you see how, how far ahead the F1 car is on the left hand side. And actually, interestingly, the F2 is a lot easier to drive. The, the, the F1 engine in the F2 car, it all just comes at you so fast. Before you know it, you have to hit the brakes because the braking zone is so much longer, the corners are so much slower. It's like an absolute rocket ship. And the next thing you know, you're in the next corner. Whereas on the on the F2 engine on the left hand side, you get a bit more time, you get a bit more time to think about when should I put the throttle on and kind of nail the throttle now, I probably can. And you just generally have a bit more time to process everything. But every cross the line on the right hand side there, one minute nine. 0.872 on the left hand side with the F2 engine it's a 113.931 that's around about 
four seconds quicker over quite a short lap of the Red Bull Ring. That is really significant. But let's get into now a race against the AI around the Red Bull Ring. Couldn't run this mod without doing an actual race, race against AI, AI cars. So here we go then. Everybody's got the same mod. Everybody's got Mercedes engine in the back of their cars. Let's go on the grid now. We're going to be starting from the very back. And let's see what's going to happen. I suspect because we're going so much faster at a straight and the braking zone is so much longer, the AI are going to sail off. But I'll put simulation damage on. So if that does happen, we'll see some carnage at least. But let's get started then on the back of the grid. Here we go. Starting P22 as Mick Schumacher. And just trying to get a reasonable start here. I don't know how much grip we're going to have. Not a bad amount. Now the overtake button should work. Uh, but it, yeah, you go us deploy on the right hand side, like medium. So that's how you can tell there is us, even though we haven't got any battery indicator or anything like that. But it's only three that race. There's already some front wheel I can see flying. The AI got it stopped for there, but that was not a full speed, full speed area of the track. So let's see what happens into here then. Trying to look ahead here to see if they're all going to fly off or not, or are they all going to get it stopped in time? We're going to do. Tell you what, they all got it stopped in time. Oh, we almost didn't get it stopped in time. Got pushed right over there by Louis Delatraz. Thank you, Louis. Appreciate that, my friend. And just here side by side. Who is it with uh, Roy Nassani? Oh, that's Mazepin, actually. It's Mazepin. He can get in the bin. See if we can get Aitken here. I tell you what, they're all getting it stopped. I'm amazed. Normally, the, where the AI struggle is on the brakes. Oh, but it will spill on the exit there. AI normally really struggle on the brakes, but today, they're not going to. I can't even keep up with them now. They're on 105 AI for this one because I thought they'd all be flying off. So I thought it doesn't really matter what I do in terms of AI difficulty level. But they're actually, they're doing really well. They just completely dealt with this complete change of engine. Shockingly well. Looks like I'm not able to get overtake ERS. I wonder if they are. Yeah, that's quite a big advantage to have potentially. Wide there on the exit, but we get away with that one. Up to be 14, then off a the start. Not bad. Oh, a bit wide there though. Luckily I've turned off the rules, which is going to help us. Yes, for some reason I can't go into overtake mode. Really, the, the fact that we haven't got it on the UI is affecting things here. This is the one that always catches me out. It's really hard to get it stopped for that. Oh, a bit too much curb there. We're going to just go off the track there. Pretend that didn't happen. That didn't happen. Now, are they still going to get it stopped? Because I'm really genuinely impressed. Normally, the AI just do not get it stopped when they're going too fast in a straight. Breaked a bit early there, if anything, interestingly. But one of that's just because a bit of traffic around them, perhaps. Anyway, up to P13 now. Can we get up to I lot ahead? We should be able to. I just wonder if they have got access to overtake ERS that I haven't got access to, perhaps. I don't know. They don't seem excessively quicker in a straight line, but anyway, don't forget in time trial mode that we were using before this, uh, all that sort of stuff is locked. So you're locked to it. I think it's hot lap mode. Actually, no, you're not. I don't, I don't even know what you're locked to in, in time trial mode, but it's uh, you're locked to it anyway, so that's uh, all fair in that mode. Right. Come on, let's get, get to Twilight here. I do seem to be a bit quicker. They seem to be slightly struggling. Again, I'm always impressed with how well the AI adapt. I did expect them to fly off a track. Is that my bomb here? No. I did, I did expect them to fly off a track because, you know, the braking zones are so vastly different. I'm not sure why that's, that, that's popped up. We've got some damage. Oh, God. Um, but uh, look at what they've adapted. Completely different engine. They're just like, yeah, so. Right, final lap of the race then. Let's see if we can get into the top 10, maybe. Oh, a bit of wheel spin on the exit. Louis Ella tries to still stick with us quite nicely. DRS is open now. Will they finally go deep here? Or will they just stay? Just making me look like I don't know what I'm talking about. Almost 340k there. They're breaking a bit early still. It's honestly... They're doing so well, right? Two more cars so we get to top 10. Lots of wheels been on the exit. Uh, looks like Daruvula up ahead hasn't got DRS. No, I think he has actually. I think he has. So we're not... I think we're going to struggle to catch him, you know. Oh, especially going a little bit hot like that. It's so tricky on the brakes, this car. Should have put the brake bias back a little bit. That's going to help me slightly. I think... Our maximum is going to be P11, and even then, not going to be easy. Running the hot, using the gears to get us slowed down a little bit. Definitely quicker, aren't I? But I could probably have a longer race. I could probably work my way up to the front, but... Oh, a little bit naughty there. Not quite full throttle on the exit. I think, yeah, they must have overtake ERS, surely. you got a much better exit there. Can we get past here somewhere? Got to go for it. Oh, that's... I mean, that is what you call too deep. Almost spun off the exit. We're actually going to still steal the position. Or are we? No, he's going to fly past us. They've definitely got access to overtake ERS. Wowzers. That was a pretty spicy race. And uh, shame we didn't have access to the proper ERS modes because that would have definitely livened that race up a bit more for us. But again, I'm impressed. The AI handled that quite well. And actually, we just had some quite good racing, didn't we, there? It was, uh, the engine didn't seem to particularly change much. I mean, as I said, I think we'd be able to make more moves with overtake ERS. But... Um, Anyway, it is what it is. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. That was the F2 cars with F1 engines. If you do enjoy this kind of content, make sure you do subscribe. Also, make sure you join the Discord to continue the conversation. I'll catch you next time. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.